So the I am everything and the I am nothing. Um, <coughs> I, it can be explained in a bunch of different ways. But um, like I told you guys before, in classical physics, which is the physical realm, everything behaves very differently than in the quantum physics which then which is the quantum realm or the spirit realm in a small or smaller molecular level molecular so you can be everything and nothing at the same time so um, there's a million ways you can explain this uh, different perceptions of, of you could perceive it in but I'm just going to show you one of those perceptions so you can understand that there's that you could be the same so you can say, um, I am everything in the world. I am the world. They created the world for me. That feeds your ego. All of these emotional emotions are entities in the heavenly realm, our heavenly places. Um, so anyways, I got sidetracked. Okay, so let's say you say, uh, 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 the world was made for me, right? That feeds your ego. And then uh, you start believing these things. But first, you need reason for belief. So there's steps to take. So what are your beliefs based on? Oh, I believe the world was made for me because of everything is given to me. Okay, so everything, that's, a, that's a pretty good belief. But then I could say... I'm nothing but dust and ashes. I'm nothing but dust and ashes. So I'm nothing but dust and ashes. So then you can get a good perspective on that. So then you could be like, I'm nothing. So then you, you become more humble. Humble is also a separate entity. You'll we learn that later in the future. So humility is good too. And so, but they could both be used at the same time. Uh, everything, and I am everything, and I am nothing. I'm also everything. And this is another way that I put it, but the thing is, I forgot the second part of it. So it would go like, uh, I am everything. I'm everything because without my existence, or what I believe to be my existence, is in this, is in this realm. And without that, I would be nothing, though. Without what I believe to be my existence, I would be nothing. But without nothing, where would I be in the first place? You see, <laughs> you go, it goes full circle. Like there's always steps. There's always steps, but you could build them off different beliefs. Uh, you could build steps to get higher and higher and higher of in things on different uh, off of different beliefs. So, you be like, oh, I don't exist. So then you go on walking in the third realm, our third dimension, which we live in, believing I am nothing. So then your life starts um, moving in that direction of, I don't believe in myself. I believe, you know, I believe I'm nothing. Like, it makes you more humble. But if the way that you should think of it is I am everything and nothing. Because then you, that's a balance between the two. So if you are everything and nothing, then what are you now? So then you get a new perspective, and with that new perspective, you make new building blocks of other of other emotions and, or questions and answers. Every question leads to a new answer, and then those answers lead to another answer, and then that goes on for infinity. So all those answers that you're getting and emotions and they're all actually physical representations of things um, that we can't see yet because we're not in that level. But yeah, because I was, I was thinking the reason why I started watching this guy talk was so our, our consciousness is separate from the body, but our body is alive and it, work, it works for us. So this goes back to the serving and the serving is to love. So if I cut myself, my body heals myself without me consciously thinking about it because my body's alive. But my consciousness, which is my mind, my mind um, is a different life form than my body, but we all work together. That's why it's called the body. We're all working together like one organ organism, uh, like 
that's why I call it the uh, organic mechanism. So your body is together, right? But you're always you're all separate. So the my mind or my consciousness or what I think I am is looking at my body and perceiving what I could do. Because when I was born and I get if I get cut my body already heals itself without me consciously making it heal. So my body is already working for me out of the molecules or other pieces of earth. So when you find out that your consciousness is a different part of you, you, you start thinking, well, what am I? What is my consciousness? So then you start thinking, and then that creates more consciousness, more of you. More, you create more of yourself in the first realm which grows by thinking more of yourself. Does that make any sense? Um, let me put it like this. Uh, when I'm breathing, you know, I breathe out for the trees, the trees breathe in for us, and the whole earth is another body of something bigger than us. But we're just here, we're supposed to be help. we are helping. Every time you take a dump and, and you flush the toilet, you're helping the ecosystem because every end of a life is the beginning of a new life but we didn't even start understanding that until we were older so when you're young and you grow older i thought oh man i'm i'm not growing anymore this sucks i'm only this tall so i'm like i'm only gonna get this tall and then i thought that was you know that the end so the, the end of uh, my growing you know but you don't grow in body, you grow in mind. So then you start learning, going to school, you start writing, you start, when you're writing stuff, you start learning math, you start learning uh, geometry and things like that. When I was in high school, I would carry around this book, the quantum physics book. And I, it was, you know, kind of hard for me to read because I would always be so spacey. The body's made out of 72% water. Uh, look at Sad Guru, he tells you, I don't remember the exact percentage, but there's, there's fire water, space, time, perception, whatever the mind can perceive also exists in the body. Your stomach right now, you're walking around with a fire in your stomach that burns cold food. You could be eating cold food for the rest of your life right now. But your body is burning, your stomach is burning at over, I, I don't remember, but it's hot, right? You can feel it burning, it's the heat. Um, well, that does you say? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. What's doing that? That's the body that's been given to you. That's a that's a spirit. That's a whole other dimension, right? Right now we're talking about the perceptive dimension. Okay, so you're, we're perceiving our body through our new conscious mind. This is a new consciousness that's been given to us through others' love, through serving, just like your poop. And what you give, what you take in, it's been given to you. It's not take it. Get, take this food, eat the food. It's been given to me. And it goes out and it brings new life, like uh, new plants. Or if it goes in the ocean, it brings, you know, the shrimp. The shrimp eat it, and then the birds eat the shrimp. Or the bigger fish eat the bigger fish eat the bigger fish eat the bigger fish. And then you have whales. And then whales are like one of the biggest fish in the ocean. But they feel alone uh, sometimes, and they'll have that. Ooh, ooh. It's like a, a noise that they make. That I, what I feel from the vibrational frequency of that noise is uh, it's some kind of loneliness. But then sometimes they see this huge ass squid like coming in. I'm like, well, what the hell is this? But then it's not their friend, you know, because the squid is like, what the heck? What the heck is this huge thing? And so they start fighting. Uh, so there's huge things in the in the water, don't get me wrong. And there's everything is alive in different levels of consciousness. So our body's alive, that's why when I cut myself it started healing itself. My consciousness is alive in another dimension. <laughs> okay, so but we're all together in separate entities. My heart is alive, and that's where the emotions come from that I am perceiving. You perceive emotions from the heart. The good emotions come from love. These are some of the emotions of love. Love, joy, peace, uh, long-suffering, patience, 
All of these things have physical attributes in the next realm, in the fourth and fifth and sixth realm. So in this in this realm, that's why in the Bible it says um, knowledge and wisdom is better than gold and silver. So in this realm, this one buys money, uh, like gold and silver buys money, which we use to consume or to build in the third dimension. And but the third dimension is only representation of the fourth. So if you don't understand what you're doing, then you, I mean, you know what you want. So even if you're building anything in this world, whether it's your mind, consciousness, whether it's your love, you know, if you on heaven, if you want to go to heaven in the next dimension, these are the things that go to heaven, the good things. Practice love, and we all have love because we all have hearts. Remember, I told you that these hearts, the hearts are connected as love in the next um, dimension or realm or heavenly places after the third dimension is heaven and the below so i said the second dimension is paper this is the second dimension the first is thought and before that are they're called the dark realms space emptiness and then you have darker imaginations uh, uh, hell realms whatever you want to call it the negative numbers and they go on forever so seven is heaven and six is hell so six 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 it goes up to the six realms and then seven is heaven, goes up to the seventh heavenly realm, but they're endless. But that's just the ones that we're, you're going to experience depending on what you're doing on the third realm. So let's say I start building, you know, doing something good. You go to the higher realms. Uh, I mean, you go to the higher realm either way, but your works, your works or whatever you're doing, it goes both ways so let's say i'm good right but i curse a lot i say oh shit 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 so i just said shit right <laughs> that shit the words you speak are alive because they're coming from your thought which is in the first realm so those words are alive but shit they, there's no place for shit in heaven there's no place for shit in heaven there's no place for sin and stuff like that in heaven so that goes to back down that goes down to the lower realms the shit the bullshit um the good things oh, i love you i love you guys so much and those go to the higher realms especially if you believe that i love you if i can convince you that i love you and you believe it your beliefs create for me more value in the next realm because although i can't see your love for me in this realm in the next realm, that love that you have for me, it creates it like, you know, gold, diamonds. Uh, it's a physical representation of that in this realm. You know, you, you understand what I'm saying? Anyways, a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff. Infinite amount of stuff. And we even had prana yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Just kidding. Remember, guys. There is nothing impossible, and there is nothing unbelievable. And it may be unbelievable, but it will be undeniable when it's in your face.